Hello students, myself uh, Dr. Shri Keshwa Kef, Associate Professor and Head, Department of Civil Engineering, Jyoti Institute of Technology, Bangalore. So in this particular section, we are going to discuss regarding the subject, Elements of Civil Engineering and Engineering Mechanics. Especially in this particular uh, class, we will discuss regarding how the question will appear in VTU examinations with respect to University of Vishweshwarya Technology. So here we are having five models and CBCS scheme. So out of five models, each model consisting of 20 marks. So in this particular section, I'm going to discuss regarding module number one, that is overview of civil engineering systems. So in module number one, in model one, we are having Overview of Civil Engineering Systems Civil Engineering Systems Systems In this particular topic, we are expected to get 20 marks So this is the first module is full of theory concepts So students must be able to know what is meant by Civil Engineering What is the scope of Civil Engineering and what is the role of civil engineers in the infrastructure development of the country and also in the section 2 we are having two sections in section 1 we are going to discuss regarding scope and role of civil engineering domain in section 2 we are going to discuss regarding some material properties of construction materials so uh, in the first section we are having two things one is we are also having two sections in section 1 in section 1, we are having scope of civil engineers, scope of civil engineers in different fields. And the second topic is role of civil engineers. In the infrastructure development of the country, in the infrastructure development of the country, of the country. So the two important topics we are having in section number one. In section number two. In section 2, in section 2, we are having building materials, building materials, building materials, building materials, with especially the few building materials like stones, bricks, wood, glass, cement, aggregate. The different building materials we are going to discuss in section number 2. These are the topics you are having in module number 1. In module number 1. So what are the expected questions in module number 1? So we can guess the question easily in module number 1. Because here we are having only 2 topics. Here we are having only 1 topic. Especially in building materials what we are going to ask. We are going to ask function function what is the function of that particular material and what is the requirement of that particular building material functional requirement is very very important functional requirement functional requirement is very very important in building materials part in building materials part so in scope of civil engineers we are having different fields in civil engineering so we will list one by one we may have, we are having surveying building materials Construction Technology, Structural Engineering, Geotechnical Engineering, Water Resource Engineering, Transportation Engineering, Highway Engineering, Architecture and Town Planning. So like that, we are having several fields, several fields. So the question may be, they may be asked a specific domain related question or they may ask a regular usual general question. So what are the expected questions? So in the first topic, you may expect a question like 
briefly explain the scope of following for five or six marks generally for 10 marks so the first question you may expect like briefly explain briefly explain briefly explain the scope of the scope of branches the scope of branches the scope of branches see if the question is general it is for 10 marks you may choose any two or three branches if they are specific that is very very important generally we will set a question paper in a specific way we are expecting a particular answer what is the scope exactly what is the particular functioning of that particular domain that is very very important so generally what I will do what are the important branches we will discuss one by one the first important branch is structural engineering structural engineering construction technology construction technology geotechnical engineering geotechnical engineering transportation engineering or highway technology transportation engineering transportation engineering water resource engineering water resource water resource engineering so generally what they will do they will ask particularly explain briefly the scope of construction technology water resource engineering for 10 marks this is for 5 marks this is for 5 marks or they may ask structural engineering geotechnical engineering transportation engineering construction technology or surveying or highway technology like that they will ask different questions water resource and irrigation this is also very very important thing so my suggestion is please read at least four to five branches of civil engineering in detail because the question is specific student must be able to at least make a few five to six points in each domain then you are getting full five marks each particular specific very good point carries one marks so please try to make a individual domain specific note regarding this particular thing i have already explained in previous videos please refer those videos in detail and also i will add that particular videos in playlist so these are very very important thing don't miss at least these five scopes this is very very important if the question is general that is for 12 marks or 10 marks then you may choose any three to four branches and you, you can write make a point clear that list the point specific to that particular domain three to four or minimum four to five points it's good so this is the very first question without stating this question the question paper sector cannot move to next question so this is very very important question in the second section in the first section the second topic role of civil engineers in the infrastructure development of the country the question may be expect like explain explain role of civil engineers in the infrastructure development of the country question if we know the scope of different fields so we are having see surveying and leveling so the surveying leveling means the art of de determining the dimensions and levels on the object if you require a specific size is of 30 by 40 we have to do the survey if the any project any infrastructural activity needs the first basic step is the surveying so like that we know but in this specific question is asking role of individual domain so we have to write a single single role of each surveying role transportation role 
हाईवे टेक्नोलॉजी रोल स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग रोल जो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग रोल वाटर रिसोर्स एंड इरिगेशन इंजीनियरिंग रोल हाईवे टेक्नोलॉजी रोल टाउन प्लानिंग रोल लाइक दैट मिनिमम एट टू टेन पॉइंट वी हैव टू लेस टू गेट टेन मार्क्स दिस इज ऑल्सो टेन मार्क्स मिनिमम टेन और समटाइम मैक्सिमम टेन मार्क्स मिनिमम एट मार्क्स क्वेश्चन सो इन इन केस इफ यू एस write any five rule of civil engineers and it will be for five marks so please read the questions carefully and make the perfect list of solutions because generally in civil engineering think theory part we are expecting a particular technical answer don't write in your own words please try to keep the technical words as much of as possible in your writings this carries a more weightage so these are the two questions without this two question within the two question you may expect one question for 10 marks sometimes 20 marks this is 5 marks this is 5 marks each 10 marks and 10 marks total 20 marks so in the another section in section b see this is section 1 section 2 this is also regarding this rule also i have talked in my previous videos so please refer those videos in section 2 building materials so generally the question like what are the requirements requirements see building materials we are having several building materials like stones cement glass wood aggregates aggregates brick brick and also we are having these material clubs together these aggregates see this aggregate and cement when put together we are having rcc reinforced cement concrete psc precast and also smart materials smart materials so these are the topics we are having in section 2 building materials here also we may expect a simple question like what are the good qualities good qualities of stones or the question is like what are the requirements of good stones what are the requirements of good cement what are the requirements of wood what are the requirements of good aggregate for construction activity if i am going to consider this particular brick for the construction as a main wall or some partition wall what is its compressive strength what is the density like the specific requirements with respect to civil engineering point of view that is very very important thing so this within this six elements six materials you may expect minimum two minimum two for five marks or for six marks depends on question paper sector you may expect a question like question like question like what are the requirements of what are the requirements of good stone good stone what are the requirements of good stone for construction activity what are the requirements of good cement what are the requirements of good wood what are the requirements of good brick like that this is a simple question for 5 marks you may expect and also you are having rcc psc smart materials these three are very very important in civil engineering keywords rcc means reinforced cement concrete materials you may know that most of the cities the houses are made up of rcc but in villages you may see bangalore tile house roofing system but in cities this is the common thing rcc reinforced cement concrete and this is a psc this is one more precast structural concrete elements may see in the metro right nowadays precast concrete structural house system is also exist so this is we are already making mold in the some particular uh, uh, sites so we are carrying that particular mold into the required shape to required activity if we want a slab the precast slabs are available if we need columns the precast columns are available if we need beams the precast beams are available so this is rcc at the particular 
location of construction activity we are going to construct a roofing system using rcc this is already made an element like column beam whatever structural members we are carrying to a required location and we are just to make in a post stationing or pre stationing system to make whatever the required things and smart materials that is also very very important thing nowadays we know that all our thing like uh, smart the mean the thing is if you are moving to uh, for hand wash if we would I like a hand the water will come will flow will uh, wash our hands if we remove our hands the water will stop how because of using the smart materials piezo electric materials sensors sensors so these are the things there yeah, are sensors those are available nowadays all are making a moving towards smart smart city concept so these are some smart materials is also there in the civil engineering activity that main thing is from the examination point of view my suggestion is at least students are need to understand what are the things what are the requirements for construction activity the functional requirements of tools cement glass wood aggregate brick so my suggestion is please try to read minimum stones wood brick cement so at least these four are very very important so the general my suggestion is in first module you are getting two questions each the like 1 ab or 2 ab so you have to answer any one question so as per my guess or my suggestion you have to read these two questions and here you have to make a choice of few materials like stone cement wood brick at least of like requirement in sometimes they may ask advantages and disadvantages like the question may be the advantage and disadvantage of a wood if you see wood is having several advantages at the same time to the environment it is having disadvantage also it depends on center you may expect the questions they may say you have to explain the requirement of materials or you may list advantages and disadvantages so overall you must remember minimum five question the first question is scope of different branches the second question is role of civil engineers the third question is the requirement the fourth question is advantage and disadvantages the last question is with respect to these materials rs rcc psc and smart materials so out of five you may perfect in three question you are getting full 20 marks out of five that is 100% i am covering the syllabus but if you re need more than 50% which means three question you are getting full 20 marks what are those three questions this one question second question and requirement or functional properties of stone cement wood brick that's enough in first module so for detailed videos you must watch my playlist of particular module one theory section so i am also adding those videos in this particular playlist this is the playlist on request of students i am adding for vtu exclusively module wise of elements of civil engineering and engineering mechanics please follow the instructions carefully in first modules i have given only three questions you must be paka in those three questions 100% you are getting 20 full marks i hope you are getting whatever i have said in this particular theory part thank you for listening thank you